Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to take a vertical project with a horizontal video or a horizontal project with a vertical video and fill the empty space with a larger version of your main video and make it blurry or darken it so that you don't have empty black bars in your video. Now you would do something like this if you have a horizontal video that you do not want to crop, but turn it into a vertical video or vice versa. And it's actually really simple in DaVinci Resolve. There's an effect called blanking fill which I've already saved into an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off for now and then show you guys from scratch. So here I have a vertical project with a horizontal video and I don't wanna crop. As you can see, there's a lot going on around the edges. So I wanna upload this as a vertical social media clip. Here in the edit page, we're gonna go to open effects and you can search blanking fill. As soon as you type in blank, it should pop up. Now you can put this directly on a clip, but what I've done so I can easily use this on future projects is I've added this into an adjustment layer. So we're gonna go to effects, cancel out our search, click on adjustment clip, which now this is our adjustment layer as it has to be put onto its own track. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can stretch this out fill up my video. Now we're gonna go back to open effects, search blanking fill, drag and drop that effect onto the adjustment clip. And as you can see, it already did something, but this is not the effect we want. But since I've already done this, I'm just gonna put my adjustment clip that I already have saved that already has my settings. So I can just show you guys the settings very easily. So if you put it on a video clip or an adjustment clip, just make sure that wherever the effect is, it's selected right here in your inspector. If you don't see it, just click on inspector. You'll see the effects now available and you'll have blanking fill right here. You can turn it off if you want, turn it back on. And the settings for a horizontal 16 by nine video to fill up a nine by 16 vertical project are these here. Zoom 1.0, crop left and crop right to zero, crop top and crop bottom to 0 0.342. If I change that, you'll see that it actually ends up making these bars around the video. Fill extent, we're gonna choose to zoom on timeline. This will maintain your proportion so that you can see back here, everything looks natural though it is obviously cropped. If you choose a different method, it's gonna stretch it out, it's gonna look really weird. Blend edges, I have to zero, but if you increase that, you'll see it does like a little fade around the edges, which I'm not a fan of. Blur background, that's totally up to you. I like it at 0.5. It allows the video to pop without being too distracting. I feel like when it's a little too clear, it's a little too distracting for me. So I really like it at 0.5. Again, that's totally up to you. And then fade amount, this will put a color fade over the background. If you want it to be lighter, you can choose white. If you want it to be darker, you can choose black. Or if you want to tint it, you can choose whatever color you want. I like it black, so it darkens the image a little. And then my personal fade amount is 0 0.349. If you put it down to zero, it's at full luminance, which to me is a little distracting. So I like it a little darker. Now I don't use a drop shadow or any global blend here, but you can if you want. And those are pretty much the settings for horizontal to vertical. Now let me show you guys in a vertical to horizontal project. Now the settings for me are pretty similar. Under source, zoom 1.0, crop left and right 0.342. Now for the crop top and bottom, I've unchecked same top slash bottom. Now this will vary depending on the type of video you do. Because if I have it as same and zero, because we're using zoom to timeline, it's going to go to the center, which for me on this podcast cuts off my face, which I don't like. So I'm going to uncheck same top slash bottom. And then the crop top, I'm gonna bring that down till my face is pretty much centered. So you can use this to really kind of move up or down your image. Now keep in mind, if you go to up here, you're gonna start cropping the image here. So you can put that down to zero. And then if you wanna go more down, you can change your crop bottom for a while before it starts to get cut off. So you really just find your sweet spot. With a frame like this, where it's mostly face, I would put it like this. Fill extent, like I mentioned, zoom to timeline. And then the fill appearance, again, that's totally up to you, but I pretty much do the same settings as I did on the other version, where I have it a little darker and heavy blur. And now that looks pretty good to me. Now, if you wanna save this as a preset, it's actually really simple. If you put it in the adjustment clip like I did, you can create power bins, which I have a video on this channel that explains power bins, but you could easily make a power bin and then drag and drop this adjustment clip with the effect on into a power bin to save it for later use which I have under my effects folder. I have a vertical video blur ready to go anytime I wanna use it. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to fill the empty space with a blurry background from your source video when that video is not in the same proportion as your project. On this channel, we have a lot more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, so go ahead and check out that playlist. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.